Grandpa, tell them what we've done so far. Um, or wait, are you tell yep. us when you're recording? Recording. Okay. The uh, beginning of the rat rod, the rat rod truck. Uh, we were fortunate enough to inherit a cab from uh, Bill Bashford, the late Bill Bashford, our friend and good pal. Uh, we'd done work on that many years ago. Bill never used it. Uh, that's a 35 Ford one ton truck cab. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on what resembles a rat rod. And the start of the rat rod began with the back end of a 53 Ford F100 pickup. We bought this assembly in uh, Geneva. A guy built a space tube frame for his, his pickup and this had been uh, basically kept up rather than rusted all the pieces. I mean, it's, there's a little bit of paint left on it, but we're going to use this right up to the firewall section, which we had the torch off because he had something else on there. And then when I was in Burlington last fall, I bought a pair of frame rails. Actually, they're the rear of a 32 Ford, but because of the kick up and the swoop that they had, I thought that, well, maybe we could graft them onto the front of this after we Z it and uh, make it into uh, a frame for the truck. And it's coming along pretty good. Uh, i got to finish well the sides, but uh, after grafting the front frame horns on and keeping everything pretty much parallel to the ground and in straight lines, we just fabricated a front cross member out of inch and three quarter uh, uh, rectangular tubing, which is actually receiver hitch. It's quarter inch wall. It's very thick and very strong. We put plates on the end of it, take them on, and that's going to bolt to the front of this frame assembly. And the front end, of course, is out from underneath the 32, which uh, was done once upon a time when the 32 first got put together. I uh, don't know if we're going to run for brakes or wheels yet because I think these are going to interfere. I haven't got the calipers on yet. Um, and i got to locate the uh, radius rods. Other than that, we're going to have a side steering car with one of two different boxes, either the box that come off the 32, which was a... 53 F100 box going to mount right here, or I'm going to put a Mustang box on here with a vertical arm uh, to help steer this thing. But it's coming along. Uh, we, as I say, all we got to do is finish welding the frame, and then we got to make a transmission cross member and make some motor mounts for the front of the motor and the grill and radiator, which are right there, 35 Ford truck. That's going to mount right in here, a little bit behind the axle. We end up with about a 130 inch wheelbase and uh, it ought to go down the road good. Uh, the box, we'll talk about the box later once we get it modified or, uh, or mounted. Uh, other than that, I want to set the cab on it. We may end up channeling the cab, we may not. It just may set in the swoop and that may be low enough for what we need. And that's about it for now. Tell us how we see uh, the frame. How we what? Zed the frame. Well, how we zed the frame? Well, Jake and I, uh, I showed Jake some of the some of the ways you can Z a frame. I took a two by four. We went into the wood shop, and uh, I showed him different ways to cut this two by four and lower the center of the car, or to, to break the straight line and to make an offset in the frame, if you will, to get it lower to the ground. And uh, we made several variations of those cuts on a 2x4 using uh, 22 and a half and 45 degrees as, as basic models to start with and we decided that we'd do it this way 22 and a half which makes a 45 uh, when we do that we lose length in the frame rail you can see as you as you V or cut a, a pie out of the bottom and then a pie out of the top and then just bend it the front of that's coming back, so it kind of shortened our frame a little bit, but I think we made up for it with the addition of those 32 rear frame horns. And uh, tack welded it in place. Uh, it was just a matter of making the cuts. We did it with a sawzall. That worked real well. And uh, we tigged them in place just temporarily uh, at the top and bottom so it's, it holds it where it belongs, make sure everything's square and parallel. And then just worked our way forward grafted those those on with Brian's help and uh, you, what you see is what we got it looks like the start of a of a pretty decent frame uh, that's about it